precious clay, knocking them on they I'm a phenomenal monolith when I get to put my lips on a s Take you on a trip, I come trampling your city and town like a champion Keeping it right and exactly to the happy end I'm all pro, just getting my practice in But I'm a mash and take it to the maximum We so hot, for sure shot Sports fans, are you ready for some football? Broadcasting live from TMU Field. Our matchup today features the Scorpions. They're going up against the Iron Men. I'm Dan Stevens, and sharing the booth with me is my esteemed colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Here's a look at the lineups for both teams. Peter, take it away. Dan Marino and Fred Bolitnikoff head up an all-pro group for the Iron Men. You have to account for both of these guys coming out of the backfield. If you don't, one of them is going to break the game wide open. But this isn't a lopsided affair, Dan. Their opponent is a powerhouse. Here are two stars that define a team and make it so much more than just a mere collection of players. And besides, look at the rest of the players on this list. Not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you, Peter. They're at the coin toss. Let's go down there. Dan, how you been? Gentlemen, please make your call. We pick tails. It is heads. We'll take the ball. The Scorpions have won the toss and select to receive. Kicks off, and the game is underway. Haynes decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Tackled at the 21. Peter, what do you think about these weather conditions? Well, this rain shower has pretty much soaked everything down here. Players, trainers, coaches, and especially the field. The grass is quickly turning into a slippery, muddy mess. Thanks, Peter. 
the Scorpions send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. first down and a whole lot more. his number called on first down and heads wide left tackled hard at the 43 hey Duff they can stop her all the time second down two receivers to the left from the iron man 43 yards his first carry of the game and picks up the first down. Dawson throws a heater right sideline, and this one is incomplete. Charlie Taylor had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Second and ten. Catches the heater left sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Charlie Taylor made the grab as the coverage seemed like they were in another world. Whose man is he? After a previous miscue, he makes a great play, this time staying focused. Yeah, his drop earlier didn't affect his concentration on that last pass, really staying with it. Third down with the tight end right. Dawson rifles it out left side and it's tipped incomplete. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Pass interference, number 34. Defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Frank Wooden manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First and ten. Let's keep it going. Aim picks up about two, and that Aim. brings up Aim. second Aim. down. Gain of two yards on the play. Morrison credited with the tackle. Second and seven from the Ironman, 19 yard line. Haynes gets the call in and takes it upfield. Stopped at the 11. Abner Haynes got yards by staying so close to his blockers, I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that.
Chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Ropes this one to the end zone, and it's caught for the score. Len Dawson couldn't look the defenders off the ball on this one. Here's an example of one guy making a play against several. Oh, it was close, but his receiver made a positive play on it. That's the first score of the game, and it was very nicely done, Peter. Great execution there. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Don't get down, guys. This is nothing. Nothing. When we get the lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Graham kicks it off. Wallace fields it way back at the one. Cut <laughs> down at the 23. Eddie Wallace got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Iron Men will begin the drive at their own 23 yard line. Mercer backs this one at the line of scrimmage incomplete. Kim Mercer held his ground at the point of attack and swatted that duck out of the air. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and ten. Wallace has his number called on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Barrett picks it away on the coverage, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Come on, D. Desire, baby. Desire. Berger lines up to punt after the three and out. Berger takes the snap and hits a beauty. Haynes hauls it in at the 29. Locked down at the 38. Chris Haynes returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Scorpions got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 38-yard line. Heads left, brought down at the 40. Abner Haynes had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Right. Second down second from the eye. Ball at the 40 yard. Yeah. 
Dawson throws a bullet and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. John Jefferson. They were just a little off back there. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Well, maybe even a little shorter. There was there was some room to run there. Third and eight from Roscovian, 30 yards. Out to the left, and they get the first on third and long. Len Dawson throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 53 yards and no interceptions. Dawson throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught at the 46, tackled at the 41. Abner Haynes saw that he was singled out there and did just enough in that pattern to gain separation and haul that one in. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, five yards to go. Takes it for his fifth carry and takes it upfield. Locked down at the 35. That will bring up first down. Abner Haynes can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. That brings up second down. Second and Is this a great drive or what? Reagan penetrates and makes the stop at the 33. Greg Cragen read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Dawson throws the pass, and the reception is made at the 10, and he's stopped right there. Taylor grabs the bullet, and that's good for a gain of five. Dawson throws a heater right sideline and it's intercepted. Corey Webb is able to get his mitts on that soggy football out there. The rain makes those passes pretty unreliable, Dan. Now he can ring the ball out and hand it to his offense. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Iron Men stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own seven-yard line. <laughs> Wallace loses one on the play, and that brings up second down. Lulon Jones got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Right. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Wilson tackles him for a short loss. 
Gerard Wilson got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Third and 11 from the Ironman. Ironman. Wallace picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up fourth down. Gerard Wilson brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. Berger gets ready to punt it from out of his own end zone. Oh, yeah, punter. I'm coming. I'm locking in. Berger takes the snap and punts it away. Haynes fields the punt at the 48. Breaks a tackle. Finally stopped at the 15. Chris Haynes does a phenomenal job fielding a good punt here. He catches it there and finds a way to get most of the yardage back through a stellar run. You gotta love that. The Scorpions were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at the 15-yard line. Jefferson snags the dart right sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Len Dawson threw the football across the field and got it to land right on the receiver's front porch. Man, I need him to train my paper boy. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. will get the carry on second down and heads wide left tackled at the four it'll be first and goal Abner Haynes stayed with his blockers on that last one and it paid off big time you know Dan it's always good to have a wingman or two nice second down call and they will move the chain on offense it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether just like that <laughs> looks like a three-headed monster down there got you on the ground in the air and they can even do a quarterback sneak if you want. Waters makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Charlie Waters makes a play on the ball here that's definitely worth another look. Yes, excellent anticipation on that incoming missile. That would have been a touchdown, but instead the defense comes up big and forced the incompletion. Way to prevent the big play. It'll be second down. Second and goal from the Ironman for Robert. throws this to the end zone and it's tipped incomplete Charlie Waters couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet that's the second time he slapped that ball out of there excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed third and goal from the Iron Man Touches him down behind the line, and that moves them farther away from the goal line. That will bring up fourth and goal. No points here! We're going to bust through the line and block this kick! Fourth down, goal to go. Ryan is back to attempt a field goal from nine yards. Bristol will hold the kick. Graham from 26 yards out, and it's through the goalposts, and good. Uh. 
Wesley Graham kicks a soggy football here, but he's on target. And the kick's good. Great job in this nasty weather. Graham sends it downfield. Eddie Wallace took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Iron Men have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 25-yard line. Griffin takes it off the top and runs into traffic. Brought down at the 25. James Griffin used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, tight end to the left. As well past the markers for a first down. Mike Ditka faces double coverage, but nothing seems to phase this guy. Great move to get open. Well, the defense had him blanketed, but he's the only one that made a play on the ball. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First and ten. Ball at the 34 yard. Picks up a couple. Eddie Wallace got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. incomplete. Pass interference, number 56. Defense, the ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Gerard Wilson manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First down, three wideouts in the game. Marino lobs this one a bit, and it's tipped incomplete. Dan Marino has a few words for his offensive line after that one, I'll tell you. He's been under fire all game long. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. All right. Second and ten from the Ironman. 25 yards. Wallace gets the handoff and heads out right. Stopped at the 43. Marino unloads this one to the left. And it's complete at the 21. Finally stopped at the 17. First down. First down, Ironman. 
Dan Marino is a quarterback who doesn't feel he has to force the issue. Yeah, he made a good, quick decision to fire the football right in there. And Dan, in his mind, nothing was going to stop him from completing that pass, unless, of course, it was intercepted. Oh, that pass lands right on point. The D better figure out how to stop that from happening again. Well, I'm liking what I'm seeing. It throws the defense off when you mix those deep challenges into the offense. First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Wilson tackles him for a short loss. Gerard Wilson got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Second and ten. Let's keep doing ball what we're doing. 18 yard line. Marino fires from over the middle and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Dan Marino threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Joey Barrett anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. From 26 yards out, and it's good! Keenan Kite puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. Brushes this one deep. Haynes pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. The Scorpions come out and are hoping to continue their success on the ground. They will start at their own 20-yard line. Picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Scorpions are out in front, 10 to 3. Second down, both wide outs to the right. <laughs> Haynes gets the call again and picks up a couple. Abner Haynes used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Third and two. Ball at the 28-yard line. Dawson throws a bullet to the back and it's caught at the 31, brought down at the 36. Abner Haynes has a guy shadowing him but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. 
It's all about staking your turf. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are right. moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Stansbury cruises out to the left side and picks up a couple. Second down, one man back. Dawson just rifles this one, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Look at all the space you got. Give him. That's because you're no good, man. This is a big one, boy. We need to stop. I get up. I get up. Oh. Third and four from West Scorpion, 32 yards. Number called on third down and gets tackled short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Charlie Waters just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. That's his third tackle of the game. Moore gets ready to punt it away. Moore gets the ball and punts it away. Wallace catches it at the 12. Drag down at the 16. Eddie Wallace got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Iron Men take the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as we start it at their own 16-yard line. Bolden tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Tim Bolden didn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Eddie Wallace went forward with the football. Thank you for blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Bolivia catches the bullet out left, and they get the first on third and long. 20 yards on the play. First down, Iron Man. Dan Marino squeezes that ball through. Great placement. The defender is practically breathing down his neck. Yeah, you have to give credit to the receiver as well, Dan. It takes two guys to make a play like that work. Dan, I I'm seeing a lot of short throws, but overall, there's really not much to show for it. Good catch, solid throw, but the ball just isn't moving far enough to make a difference. First down from the shotgun. Marino throws a bullet to the flat, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Gary Clark had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. He just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel, waiting until the second quarter to make his first catch. And you know, that's a big confidence builder, Dan. Now he should be able to settle into his game and contribute. Six. 
Lyle tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Marino lets it go down the right side and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 39. Garcia picks textbook, baby. Textbook. Isaac Bell sees where the pass is going and makes sure he's there to cause trouble. Oh, nice pick. It's all about breaking down the offense and figuring out where you can do the most damage. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Scorpions are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 39-yard line. the line and picks up a couple. Abner Haynes used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and eight from the Scorpion, 31 yard line. Gets the toss and gets past the line. Brought down at the 44. All out. All of us are going all out. This drive ends right here. Third and five. Ball at the 44 yard line. Field, makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Autry Crutchfield anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. Moore lines up to punt after the three and out. Back to punt. Wallace is good Moore takes the long snap and punts it away. Wallace fields the punt at the 12. Stop at the 22. Eddie Wallace did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Iron Men take the field and will start out at their own 22 yard line. Clark grabs the fastball over the middle, and that's good for a gain of five. Gary Clark had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Marino throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 24. Brought down at the 28. Eddie Wallace used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down, three yards to go. the 25. Dan Marino carries this one out of the gate and it costs him big time. That's not the guy he was looking for, Dan. The D really brought some pressure to bear.
The Scorpions. Offense takes the field and they are already in field goal position. They'll start at the 25 yard line. Dawson throws it deep down the left sideline and it's cut for the score. Charlie Taylor shakes his opponent at the line and beats him on a quick pattern. They just couldn't cover him man up, plain and simple. Yeah, great catch and execution. This is a take no prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Graham crushes this one deep. Wallace pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. The Iron Men have turned the ball over the past two times out, so they'll need to be careful as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Wilson makes a play on this one and forces the completion. Gerard Wilson can't quite get position for the interception, but he does manage to swat it off course, quick hands. Oh, for... This oh. is getting ridiculous. The oh. offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Man, we need more out of you. Where you been today? Don't worry, man. I'm going to get it turned around. Second and ten from the Iron Man. Marino throws the pass, and the ball's caught at the 29, and he's stopped right there. Dan Marino made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football, and uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. Henderson catches this one and he's looking for room and he stopped right there. Haynes with the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Chris Haynes brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. Berger lines up for the punt. Berger takes the long snap and punts it away. Payne feels it at the 29. Hammered down at the 34. The Scorpions come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their 34-yard line. Haynes has his number called on first down and heads up field, chased down at the 46. 
It will be first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 57 yards on 13 carries. First down, tight end to the left. Dawson rifles it out left side and they can't connect, incomplete. Max Slayton had that ball in his hands on that play and then he just dropped it. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second and 10, ball at the 36 yard line. the stop at the 44. Okay. Morrison with the tackle. Stops for a loss of two yards on the play. Third and long, baby. Let's get this ball back. Let's go. Third and 12 from Will Scorpion's 44 yard. Dawson really rifles this pass, and it's off his fingertips, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Brian Clark almost brought that baby in, but it was just off his fingers. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Moore lines up for the punt. Oh, yeah! Gets the snap and hits a beauty. The Iron Men haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own one-yard line. Wallace takes it off the toss and brought down, and that will be a safety. Clinton Smith comes off the line like a hungry rhino looking for that safety. And he gets it, pinning him in the end zone for two. You can't coach that. Berger sends it downfield. Haynes takes it at the 19. 35, stopped at the 39. The Scorpions will start this drive at their 39-yard line. Payne carries it for the first deep time and maybe picks up one on the play. Second and eight from the Scorpions, 40 yards.
John Jefferson is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the... Fantastic catch, and he is putting up great numbers. Got that right, Dan. He's now got 95 yards on five catches. If we see the pass here, Dan, I have no doubt it's heading to his go-to man. short loss. Nick Little would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. They halt this play behind the line of scrimmage and that will bring up a second down. Bust him in the mouth, D. This is where we stop him. Physical. Second down, goal to go. Second and goal. Stansbury gets the call again and chews up about four on the play. Third and goal. Him down in the backfield and that moves them farther away from the goal line. That will bring up fourth and goal. Scott Poole would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his second tackle so far. Graham from 19 yards, and it's good. Wesley Graham has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. It's a boomer down the field. Wallace pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. The Iron Men are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Hyena! Ran for the set! Wallace catches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. Eddie Wallace ran out of bounds before he got back to the line of scrimmage, Dan. Maybe he thought he was playing on one of those wider metric system fields. They could not get this one across the line, Peter. Not the best execution there in my book. True, but a bit of a loss on first isn't going to kill you. That'll bring up second down. Marino zips it to the left sideline and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Fred Bolitnikoff is wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. He explodes out of the gate with a number of catches. This guy, well, he's just a consistently good player, Peter. Absolutely, Dan. Really impressive communication with his quarterback. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Clark catches it left side and tries to get free. Finally stopped at the 46. A pickup of 31 on the play. First down, Ironman. Gary Clark makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. Well, you know, this is just not working. 
He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Let's make sure we keep him out of field goal range here. Wallace gets the ball and will end up losing a couple. Dan Saliamua targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Dan Marino threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. You know, I love what this passing scheme accomplishes. Game in and game out. We're seeing the steam coming from this offensive engine big time. They're looking hard to stop. Wallace takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Terrell Soto was sitting back in the zone, waiting for the pass, and then closes in to force the incompletion. Nice job. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Goes a big high lob and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Joey Barrett came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. For the third time today, he gets enough of that pass to force it incomplete. Well, at this point, Dan, why do you keep trying to throw through him? That's very risky. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. from 40 yards out, and it's good. Keenan Kite knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. The field goal puts them a little closer to tying things up. Yeah, and that's a positive note their coach can point to when he tries to pump up his team at halftime. Kicks it away. Chris Haynes took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Scorpions come out on the field and are looking to extend their lead before the break. They'll start at their own 25-yard line. Jeff makes the catch on the right sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. John Jefferson had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. Another short, quick strike, and the defense looks helpless to stop this ball control strategy. Yeah, it's a great game plan. This offense has been executing, right. no doubt about it. Hey, 
Payne chews up four yards, and that brings up third down. Corey Webb made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Third down and less than a yard. Third and injured. Ball at 34 yards. Punches this one left of center and Scorpions. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Scorpions enjoying the lead 22 to 6. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports halftime show? Well, here's a look at our halftime stats, and as you can see, it paints a pretty clear picture. The Ironmen are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. An exciting start to this one right on the first play from scrimmage. Dawson would draw back and deliver a strike on this one. A 26-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Scorpions get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Midway through the first, already in the red zone, Webb was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Towards the end of the first quarter, the Scorpions leading by seven. Graham gets the call as they can't punch it into the end zone, but the short field goal is up and good. They're now up by 10. The Ironmen, end of the first quarter. Marino went to the air trying to convert on third down and he found his man. That set up a 27 yard field goal. The Ironmen down 10 to three. Bell is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. Midway through the second, all at their own 27. Soto shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Still midway through the second, the Scorpions up by seven. Dawson would find his target on this one. They move ahead by 14. The Ironmen, middle of the second. Smith would break through with a big play here as he shot through the line and was able to wrap his man up in the end zone for a safety. The Ironmen back 19 to three. Jefferson came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. That set up a no-brainer 20-yard field goal. The Scorpions have opened it up and now lead by 19. Late into the second quarter, Marino went to the air trying to convert on third down and he found his man. That set up a 40-yard field goal. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Scorpions are up big at the half, 22 to six. All right, Dan, nice work. The Iron Men get the ball first this half and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They currently trail 22 to 6. Let's go down to the field. Graham kicks it, and the second half is underway. Wallace decides to take it out of the end zone. <coughs> Bang down at the 26. Eddie Wallace got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Iron Men must feel like they need to score this timeout. This drive will start at their own 26-yard line. Rulon Jones saw where that play was going right away and stopped it cold for a loss of yardage. A beautiful hit on that one. He really brought some thunder with him. And he rained on the offense's hopes of gaining some yards. In fact, the rest of this drive may get a little overcast. 
The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Marine fires this one over the middle, and the ball is caught at the 27, eventually tackled at the 33. Gary Clark made the grab as the coverage seemed like they were in another world. Whose man is he? This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. <laughs> Gomez tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Lorenzo Gomez came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Oh, for... This uh, is getting uh, ridiculous. Uh, 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 the offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Berger gets the snap and hits a beauty. Haynes feels the deep punt at the 19. Stopped at the 26. Chris Haynes got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Scorpions come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Slayton catches the heel left the sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Scott Poole makes the play here, but not fast enough. This one's going to count. Check it out. Yep, he pushes him out, but past the marker. The defense gives up the first down pretty quickly there, Peter. Yeah, you got to at least slow him down a bit. bring up second down. Aaron Morrison got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Another tackle and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Haynes catches the hard throw and is at the 45. Finally popped out of bounds at the 49. First down. He picks up 12 yards on the play. First down, Scorpions. Abner Haynes sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. will bring up second down. Aaron Morrison got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. He's now up to six tackles. Second and ten. Ball at 49 yards. Haynes takes it off the toss and passes the line. Back down at the 50. Pretty much the whole 10 yards in front of us here. Piece of cake, man. Great. Third and nine from North Scorpion, 50 yards.
Dawson throws a heater, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Scott Poole read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Moore lines up for the punt. The Scorpions have selected the punt. Wallace is deep to receive. Four gets the snap and punts it away. Wallace kneels the punt at the 11. Tackled hard at the 14. Eddie Wallace didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Iron Men are backed up yet again and will start this drive at their own 14-yard line. Dan Saliamua keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second, second down. Anthony Rogers couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. There ain't no chance they're going to get this. Too many yards. Deny, deny, deny. Marino zings it to the right side, and he connects at the 16, and he's stopped right there. Rodgers with the tackle. That will bring up fourth down. Anthony Rodgers made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They stopped them cold, fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Berger lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Berger gets the ball and punts it away. Haynes hauls it in at the 40. Crosses the field, dragged down at the 43. Chris Haynes got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Scorpions had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 43-yard line. Dawson fires this one over the middle, and it's complete at the 45, and he's stopped right there. It will be first down. Len Dawson throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 220 yards and two touchdowns. is the incompletion. Corey Webb can't quite get position for the interception, but he does manage to swat it off course. Quick hands. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. 
Second and ten from the Ironman. 44 yard. Dawson floats this one out to the right sidelines and it's tipped incomplete. No way, baby! No way! Woo! Third down and four wideouts in the game. hit there they are still short of the first down though fourth down coming up scott pool managed to take him down before he got to the markers but whew, it was close that's his third tackle of the game the right. scorpion has selected the punt wallace is d3c don't let him get that point Moore gets the ball and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. And one more. So his kick goes squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Iron Men have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 20-yard line. Interceptor! Locked down at the 18. Chris Haynes bags the ball after his teammate tips it his way. That's great coordinated D. Nice pick. I'm not saying they practice that in preseason, but I did see some volleyball nets around training camp. That's their third interception of the game, and Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. A tough play. I love it. The Scorpions will start this drive all the way back at the 18-yard line. Lucas tackles him for a big loss at the 23. Dante Lucas came in like a pack of wolves, cornering him in the backfield and then taking him down for a big loss. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making him think twice before going his direction. Larry Page sees that he's singled out there and does just enough in that pattern to gain separation. Oh, he knew where he had to be and got his hands in position to haul that one in. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. the extra point and it's good the heck out of this one. Wallace decides to take it out of the end zone. <laughs> Tackled at the 23. Eddie Wallace got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but 
It didn't really hurt him either. The Iron Men were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 23-yard line. Marino throws a heater right sideline, and the completion is good for six. Dan Marino ran out of choices and had to take the long shot. So he zeroed in, pulled the trigger, and hit his man. Great execution. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Gildan makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Damian Gildan anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. Oh, for this oh. is getting ridiculous. The offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Third down, two wideouts on the field. Marino goes it to the left and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Chris Haynes made the stop and forced him out, but he couldn't stop the play before they got past the markers. That's his second tackle so far. First and ten. Catches it in the flat and gains a couple. Dan Marino is a pro. He knows exactly what his receivers are going to do, and pow, he hits them. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and eight from the Iron Man, 37 yards. Marino lets it go here, and the reception's made at the 40. Locked down hard at the 23. That will bring up first down. Lenny Moore shows here why he's so dangerous after the catch. Great burst after he gets his hands on it. Oh, and there he goes. Unbelievable talent. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Wallace will get the carry on first down and heads out right. Eventually tackled at the 12. This is a very good run for a sizable gain, Dan. You can't ask for much more out of your rushing offense than that. First and ten from the More Scorpion. of the same, guys. Marino throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete for a gain of three yards. He picks up three on the play. Great. Second and seven from the Iron Man, nine yards. Gildan makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. 
Damian Gilden knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Third and seven. Marino throws this one right sideline, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Gary Clark ran a post pattern on that last play, but he couldn't make the catch. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan, and when you don't convert, it really hurts. From 26 yards out, and he knocks it through the uprights. Keenan Kite has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. Rushes this one deep. Haynes downs it for a touchdown. The Scorpions are really in command and have yet another shot to score. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their own 20-yard line. Clark snags the guard right sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Ryan Clark is matched up well with the defense on this one, but is able to stay one step ahead for the completion. It's worth another look here. Oh yeah, the D might want to put more men on him next time. After a previous miscue, he makes a great play, this time staying focused. Yeah, his drop earlier didn't affect his concentration on that last pass, really staying with it. Dawson throws the ball and it's complete at the 42, eventually tackled at the 46. He gets 14 yards on the play. First down, Scorpions. First and 10 from the Scorpions, 46 yards. First down and a whole lot more. That's what I'm talking about. Good focus means big play. There's still time left. We gotta start making some stops. First and ten. That will bring up second down. Fernando Lopez would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. 31 on the play. First down, Scorpio. 
Len Dawson throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Well, I, I don't know if any defensive adjustments were made at halftime, Peter. I sure can't tell. <laughs> this quarterback just knows how to make everyone play his game. In his third great quarter, he's still forcing the D to play by reaction, Dan, which takes control right out of their hands. Oh, watch the tight end here. He might find a spot in the end zone and look for the strike. And touchdown! This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. And so far, he's got 17 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Sends it downfield. Wallace fields the kickoff at the one. Back down at the 25. Eddie Wallace received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. 25 yards. The Iron Men take the field, and their running game hasn't generated much other than a big play here or there. We'll see how they fare as we start at their own 25-yard line. Griffin will take the handoff and heads left, tackled at the 27. Griffin with the carry. He picks up two yards on the play. Haynes credited with the tackle. Second down with the tight end right. Wallace pulled us to right of center and will gain close to six. Eddie Wallace was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. No good. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Stephen Gates had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Third and short, and they just can't get the completion. Why didn't they go with the run, Peter? Well, I would have, but I'm not the coach. He's obviously got other plans. It'll be fourth down. Berger takes the long snap and hits a beauty. Payne fields the deep punt at the 20. Ground to a halt at the 23. The Scorpions have been effective with the long passes. Will they keep it up? We'll find out as we start at their own 23-yard line. Taylor catches it over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. Complete to Taylor. Gain of 12 yards on the play. First down, Scorpion. Charlie Taylor is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. This guy has been pretty much unstoppable this contest. You might think 
Uh, you have him covered, but you don't. That's absolutely right, Dan. Solid effort from whistle to whistle. If the D doesn't step up now, they might not get a chance later on. Takes it off the top of his hand, takes it upfield, stopped at the 40. Haynes with the carry. Gain of five on the play. Wooden credited with the tackle. Don't buy that Second play action fake! From your Scorpions, 40 yard. Come on! Come on! Please! Please! Single back! Single back! Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Dane Stansbury stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Scorpions in command of this one, 36-9. Just a basic little pickup is all we need. Then let's get that first. All right. Third and four. Ball at the 41-yard line. We'll get to carry on third down, and he gets taken down well short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Legarius Sharp would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. That'll get the defense going. Big play. That's his third tackle of the game. Moore lines up for the punt. Wallace is deep to Oh yeah, punter. I'm coming. I'm blocking this. Four gets the snap and hits a beauty. Wallace fields it at the 16. Drag down at the 20. Eddie Wallace got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Iron Men stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Marino threw that one away. Incomplete pass. Second down from the shotgun. Second and ten. Ball at the 20 yard line. Wallace gets the toss and runs into traffic. Chases him down and drops him back at the 18. Gerard Wilson would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Lyle tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Dwayne Lyle came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Oh, for this uh, is getting uh, ridiculous. Uh, uh, the uh, offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Berger lines up to punt after the free and out. Berger takes the long snap and hits a beauty. Payne fields the deep punt at the 36. Brought down at the 42. Chris Haynes got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go.
The Scorpions will start this drive at their 42-yard line. His 25th carry of the game and will lose about a yard here. Tony Nichols got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Dawson throws this one over the middle, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Charlie Taylor faces double coverage, but nothing seems to phase this guy. Great move to get open. Well, the defense had him blanketed, but he's the only one that made a play on the ball. He hasn't lost anything right. here, even into first the fourth. That is a well-conditioned athlete. Well, he definitely put the crunch on the D with solid numbers in every quarter. What a one-man wrecking crew. Aaron Morrison keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got seven tackles. Picks up about two, and that brings up third down. A pickup of two yards on the play. Little credited with the tackle. Third and ten. Slayton catches the bullet out left, and that's not enough. He's short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Dante Lucas managed to take him down before he got to the markers, but whew, it was close. That's tackle number six for him. Good game so far. Oh, definitely. Fourth down, two yards to go. Brister will hold the kick. Graham with the 42-yard attempt, and it's good. Wesley Graham sends it losing between the goalposts for a field goal straight down the pike. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered by pollen. Watch it. Sorry, that makes no sense. All right. It. Sorry. Graham crushes this one deep. Wallace pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. The Iron Men have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 20-yard line. Wallace gets the call on first down and gains about three yards. Wallace with the carry. He picks up three on the play. Wilson with the tackle. Second and seven from the Ironman, 23 yards. <laughs> Jones gets the sack way back at the 18. With the sack, a loss of five on the play. 
Brulon Jones gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Marino uncorks this to the left sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Fred Bolitnikov broke free from coverage, but the ball wasn't where it needed to be. No catch. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. deep to receive. Berger gets the snap and punts it away. Haynes deals the punt at the 40. Tackled at the 45. Chris Haynes got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Scorpions send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 45-yard line. Dawson zips it to the left sideline and he's on target for a gain of five. Max Slayton saw that he was singled out there and did just enough in that pattern to gain separation and haul that one in. Another short, quick strike and the defense looks helpless to stop this ball control strategy. Yeah, it's a great game plan this offense has been executing, no doubt about it. Second down from the eye. Tony Nichols read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. He now has five tackles in the game. Third and five from your Scorpions 50-yard line. Stansbury takes it for his 11th carry and converts the third and long. Dane Stansbury got yards by staying so close to his blockers, I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. Another run up the gut, and we've seen him take more than his share of carries there. He's definitely had lanes to run through. Yeah, superb blocking up front, too. Gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Gain of three on the play. Morrison credited with the tackle. Second down, one man back. Second and six from the Ironman, 41-yard line. They're going air. They're going air. I see pass. Wait, Chris, up. Strong right. Strong right. Single. <laughs> Dawson throws a big high lob and incomplete. Charlie Waters gets a hand on this one. Right there, that's how you play D. I mean, he's just unconscious out there. Oh. And a couple of those batted balls were almost intercepted. Dan, you can't coach that. He has rare instincts and incredible hand-eye coordination. Third and six from the Ironman, 41-yard line. Down. Six. You don't get nowhere running the ball. Trip open. Right up. Single back. Single back. Three. Slayton didn't hold that one in and it falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Max Slayton had some room on the fringes there but couldn't reel in the pass. That will bring up fourth down and what a disappointment. That would have given them the first. You've got to make those plays when they come your way. Moore gets ready to punt it away. Back to punt. 
Wallace is DTC. Out out here. Moore takes the long snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Antoine Moore saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Iron Men haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 20-yard line. Lyle tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Dwayne Lyle turned his hips to get into position and tipped that ball away. Solid coverage. For the third time today, he gets enough of that pass to force it incomplete. Well, at this point, Dan, why do you keep trying to throw through him? That's very risky. Second and ten. Makes the throw after the play action fake, and he's hit as he throws, incomplete. Dan Marino had his clock cleaned on that one, managed to get rid of the ball, but it fell incomplete. He is so far out of his rhythm, it, it's painful to watch. Except for a defense that's been locking down on these receivers, making them look weak. The play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Dwayne Lyle came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Oh, for this uh, is getting uh, ridiculous. Uh, uh, the uh, offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Berger lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Berger takes the long snap and punts it away. Payne fields it at the 37. Stopped at the 42. Chris Haynes got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Scorpions, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 42-yard line. Jefferson grabs the floater right sideline and is past the first with daylight. And touchdown! John Jefferson is going to make the catch, but that's only the beginning. He simply chews up yardage here. If you're the defense, you have to try and gang tackle this guy early or it's lights out. He'll get the touchdown, and he does it in style. Beautiful play. the extra point and it's good. one downfield. Wallace is coming out with it. Breaks the tackle. 
the 22. Eddie Wallace took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Iron Men take the field, and their running game hasn't generated much other than a big play here or there. We'll see how they fare as we start at their own 22-yard line. Marino zings it to the right side and it's tipped incomplete. Isaac Bell came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. All right. Second and 10. Ball at the 22 yard line. for a short loss. Kim Mercer got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Watch your side! Watch your side! 21 yard line. Marino threw that one away, incomplete pass. Fourth down coming up. How about blocking this thing? Come on, let's warm this guy. Berger lines up to punt after the three and out. Berger gets the snap and punts it away. Haynes steals the punt at the 37. Stop at the 39. Chris Haynes didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Scorpions got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 39-yard line. Sharp brings him down way behind the line at the 33. Sharp credited with the tackle. Legarius Sharp is not going to let them get back to the line here. Look how he just rolls into the backfield and just lays out the ball carrier. He's quick and he knows how to hurt a guy. That will be his fourth tackle so far. What do you think of his performance, Peter? Solid game, Dan. Really carrying his sizable weight out there. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Dawson floats this one out to the right sideline. It's intercepted. Tackled at the 39. Charlie Waters picks off the pass because he plays the zone so well here, completely snookering the quarterback. That's just how you do it, folks. You can't coach that. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Iron Men are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 39-yard line. His number called on first down and maybe picks up one on the play. Jones with the tackle. Showtime. Second and eight from the Ironman, 40 yards.
Marino unloads this to the right sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Isaac Bell turned his hips to get into position and tip that ball away. Solid coverage. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Third down from the shotgun. a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Joey Barrett earned his hips to get into position and tip that ball away. Solid coverage. I mean, he's just unconscious out there. Oh. And a couple of those batted balls were almost intercepted. Dan, you can't coach that. He has rare instincts and incredible hand-eye coordination. Berger takes the snap and punts it away. Payne falls it in at the 16. Brought down at the 20. Chris Haynes didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Scorpions were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Payne gets the handoff and gets just past the line, but not by much before being brought down. Tackle made by Morrison. No gain on the play. Second down with two tight ends to the right. From your Scorpions, 21-yard line. Down! Six! Lucky, lucky! Pro! Witherspoon chews up four yards, and that brings up third down. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 90, defense, dog yard penalty, repeat, second down. Lito Setzer was lined up on the ball and the ref called him on it. That's a neutral zone infraction. Second and four, ball at the 26 yard. Stansbury will get the carry on second down and picks up the first down. Pick up a seven on the play. First down, Scorpions. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Another run up the gut, and we've seen him take more than his share of carries there. He's definitely had lanes to run through. Right. Yeah, superb blocking up front, too. Gains five on the play, and that brings up second down. Pick up of five on the play. Walker with the tackle. Watch out for the play action! Your Scorpions, 38 yard line. Gets the 
call on second down and choose up about four on the play. Scott Poole brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. He now has five tackles in the game. This kind of pickup should be no problem for us. Let's go! Third and one. Ball at the 42 yard line. Down. Sit. Five on the play clock. <laughs> Witherspoon gets the call on third down and is dropped short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Tony Nichols makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got six tackles. Moore lines up for the punt. Moore gets the snap and hits a beauty. Wallace fields the deep punt at the 12. Drag down at the 23. Eddie Wallace returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Iron Men start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.52. Marino throws a hitter right sideline and the catch is made and the clock continues to wind down. Moore falls in the log right side and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. He's in for the touchdown. Lenny Moore makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for Moore. Big play to snare that one and put six on the board. He's got a nose for the end zone, Dan, and the ability to get there. Uh -huh. Coverage better tighten up, though, unless they want to see that play again. Kite is back for the point after. McKee will hold the kick. Here's the point after, and it's yeah, good. The point is good. Tight pooches it. Triplet collects it. 41. Round to a halt at the 38. You flatten his ass! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Misery, this effectively killing all of the not creative. But wait a minute, at the same time I resuscitate those that are weak of faith and think that hip hop is dying. The Scorpions have a short field and are starting this drive at the 38 yard line. Go. The Iron Men take their first time off. Stanford in the carry. Gain of three on the play. Tui Kala credited with the tackle. Second down, oh. two receivers to the left. Men will 
take a timeout. That's their second. He picks up two yards on the play. Webb credited with the tackle. Third down, the clock is stopped at 121. Stansbury carries Aaron Morrison made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He's done his part defensively, and now he's racked up his 10th tackle. Dan, it's all about closing speed at the linebacker position, and he's got it. Hands up! Hands up! Knock it down! Graham boots it from 46 yards out, and it's good! Wesley Graham rockets this one in for a clean field goal. Let's see it again. He's got plenty of room on either side. Great accuracy there. Well, you could have backed up that one 10 yards or so. He still probably would have made it. That's his fourth field goal of the game, and he has generally looked pretty good. He's doing his part, and that's what you want from a kicker. Graham boots the heck out of this one. Wallace is coming out with it. Back down at the 21. Eddie Wallace got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Iron Men start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 110. Intercepted. Tackled at the 33. Big pick, baby. Big pick. Brister takes a knee and the clock will tick down. Second and 11 from the Ironmen, 35 yard line. Takes a knee, and that will do it. And that is going to do it for this one. The Scorpions come out on top, 49 to 16. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Haynes shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. 
The Scorpions have it off an interception. The ball at the 23. Dawson would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 23-yard touchdown for the home team. Trying to answer back, the Ironmen trailing by 23. Marino is back and he's pretty much locked in on his wide receiver and he hits it. They close in a little, they are now down by 20. The Scorpions, end of the third quarter. Taylor is going to try to stretch the field here, and he is going to make them pay. A 31-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Scorpions leading 36-9. Dawson would find his target on this one. That set up a 43-yard field goal. The Scorpions moving ahead big and now lead by 30. Midway through the fourth, the ball at their own 41-yard line. Dawson would air it out on this one, and he would find his man. A 58-yard touchdown for the home team. Still midway through the fourth, the Scorpions winning by 37. Waters was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Ironmen, late in the fourth quarter, Moore came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 74-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Ironmen down 46-16. to After driving nine yards on three plays, Graham sets up the field goal attempt from just about the parking lot. That has a lot of leg, though. He's Got it! A 47-yard field goal. The Scorpions move ahead by 33. Still late in the fourth quarter, Malloy is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Scorpions win big, 49-16. to Okay, here's your 2K Sports Player of the Game. Len Dawson turned in yet another legendary outing. Well, he was the best player on the winning team. It's as simple as that. We'll see if he's able to keep up this high level of play in the games ahead. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.